and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. Today is the Lanky Show. We've got Lanky Kong here, and this time he's not going to have to share his episode with Tiny Kong. Today we're going to go back to Angry Aztec and finish off Lanky Kong's portion there, and that will wrap up everything we can do in Jungle Japes and Angry Aztec until after we unlock the final Kong in the next stage. So, real quick, let's go back inside the starting area, show off Linky Kong's idle animation. I mean, we can show it here, but I've shown all the other ones in the house. Might as well go show this one in the house as well. And then we'll go to Angry Aztec and get that whopping. Man, all these people invading Donkey Kong's space. Let's go ahead and stand right here and let's check out that idle animation. Woo! Woo! Ah! Yeah, I don't know where they went, and I don't know what it is with these Kongs and wanting to play with grenades, but no, they just get stuck. Um, even if you're in an open area, they, they just get lost in the air. I don't know where they go, man. And let's go ahead and get back out of here, and let's go check out... Oh, well, well, let's go check out Angry's... No, Lanky's portion of Angry Aztec. So, let's just run right inside and get started. This is it, guys. Once we've done this, we've done everything we can do before we go to the next stage. I mean, I guess technically there's a little bit of stuff we can do back on DK Isle still, but yeah, we'll get to that eventually. We still can't hit these pineapple targets. Oh well, maybe someday we'll be able to hit those and open up that area, but not today. Today we're going to be focusing on the blue crud, which is, I don't know if it's just me, but seeing blue bananas is a little bit disgusting. I mean, seeing yellow bananas from Donkey Kong, that makes sense. Later on with Chunky, we'll get green bananas, that makes sense. Uh, I think there's even red bananas. I think red bananas are even a thing, so Diddy makes sense, but stinking, <laughs> stinking blue bananas and purple bananas? I don't know about that, crowd man. So we'll skip the dialogue here, hit yes, and let's go get Trombone Tremor. All right, looking pretty good. So we've got the instrument for Linky as well, and of course the text is pretty much the same as always, so we're just going to skip past that, out of that one. And that's done. Let's go back across here. You know what? I should probably be grabbing... Well, never mind. I was going to say we should grab those crystal coconuts because my stock's not going to be full. But also, Lanky doesn't exactly have something to use crystal coconuts with. In fact, even if we go to Cranky Kong in this level, he has nothing for us. So we're not going to be able to get a uh, co crystal coconut using ability for Lanky anytime soon. Yeah, well, they're still there. But I do want to go inside this temple over here. And the target to do so is right there. So we'll go ahead and shoot that one. The tricky part is we have to get over there before the door closes, and because Lanky's target's a little bit further away than the other ones were, it can be a little bit more tricky. If you slide off the edge of that platform, you probably won't make it in time. But we're inside. Let's grab some blue coins here. And there's really not much else to do aside from dive in the water. So let's get on in here. And we can't go through that. That's the Tiny Kong path. Let's turn them around, around this way. And through here... So straight across is where we want to go, just hopefully not running into the Shuri there. So in the water here is going to be a few blue bananas. We can also kind of sneak around the edge. I think I missed one. Did I not? Oh, I guess I didn't miss one. Hooray! But let's go around and try to get all these. That time I missed one. Yeah, sometimes I get impatient and I try to use the A swim. If you do the B swim, it's a little bit uh, slower, so it can be easier to line these things up. But I always try to go too fast and use the A swim. So let's swim down and get that last one. There we go. So we should be at 14 bananas, which we are. And let's hop on out. And right up here, we've got another five bundle. Let's go ahead and smack this one. And if we hit this switch, it's going to make these mouths on the wall all open up. And out will come a bird holding a golden banana. This guy is an absolute pain in the butt. We're going to have to shoot this guy over and over and over again until he finally decides to drop that crud. I'll just do my best. Oh gosh, I got to be careful. I really don't have that much ammo. Maybe I should have visited Funky or grabbed some of the ammo boxes that were outside the temple. So I'm going to have to be very careful with my shots here. Okay, I kind of wasted two there. I think we only have to hit him a couple more times, so I should be okay. Just got to make sure I don't waste too many. That was a pretty good shot. Only had to do one there. And this should be the last one. I can't quite aim high enough to actually hit him, unless I can hit the banana part, which I cannot. So we're going to have to wait till he gets into a better spot. I could reposition myself, but I'm lazy. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we get that crud dropped right in the water. Wow. Dude, we're standing underwater. The bird just died. What the crud? I've never seen him do that. 
Maybe I just never noticed the animation, but dude, my dude just spiraled into the floor. All right, well, by doing that, we also uncover the, the uh, arena pad back here. So let's go get to another arena. And here we have Critter Carnage. I'm gonna do something very similar to what I did during Beaver Bash, which is die? No, I'm not gonna die. I was trying to just jump and then land on their head so I can just kind of bounce around and waste some time here. There we go, that's much more like it, wasting plenty of time. Because for this mission, just like the other ones, it's not about killing stuff, it's about survival. So if we can just waste time by bouncing around on their head, honestly, that's kind of like a win-win. So there we go, we'll just keep on bouncing, keep on bouncing. I mean, if you prefer to kill things, you can run around and do some attacks and stuff, that's totally fine too. But I like to just uh, knock out these enemies, or just jump on their heads, I mean. So we'll go through all that. We got the second crown. I think that's just the second. And uh, we're gonna, uh, you know, let's we'll, we'll just check. Let's just check. Was that the second crown? Uh, go over to here, go to totals. And yes, we now have two out of 10 crowns. So there you go, that was crown number two. So let's work our way back out of this temple. I mean, I could edit back out, but this episode is gonna be short enough as it is because uh, not a whole lot to do here today. So I might as well pad out the runtime a bit and have me run back uh, out on screen here. So with that one done, you know what? I actually am going to go around and grab some ammo because we're going to be needing a lot of ammo today. I thought about just visiting Funky, but I mean, there's ammo right around here. We might as well just go ahead and grab it. And having the extra oranges, that doesn't hurt either. And we're back to full. Looking good. So now we're going to go and take warp number two. And then we're going to take warp number three. Even though I don't actually want to go to Cranky, there is still some stuff there for us. So I'm not going to go inside Cranky's building, but I will go grab these right here. So we've got all those goodies. And then over here, we've got some more as well. So if you didn't get Orang Stand from Jungle Japes, if you decided to play this stage first, you could get Orang Stand from Cranky here. So that is an option, but if we go inside right now, he's not going to have anything for us. So we'll just skip along here, try not to get any damage. And now we'll go back through Warp 3. I mean, I could have just walked out of the tunnel, but I'll just go take Warp 3 here. Now from here, I want to go inside this temple. And I want to make sure I have plenty of ammo here. So if you're playing along, make sure you're like full on ammo before going inside. There is a bit of ammo in there as well, but I'd rather just be stocked up before we even decide to enter that place. So we've got the uh, target right here. Let's go ahead and... Well, let's go ahead and shoot that crud. Come on. Now let's just go first person. Yeah, sometimes when your gun is like right inside of it, if you're not in first person, it can be a little bit tricky there. So let's exit back out and let's go inside. So this is the temple where we actually unlocked Lanky Kong. So remember, there's a couple of blue balloons back where we got him. So we will have to swim in there, but there's some other stuff to do here as well. So I'm going to go down and get those three bananas. And then we'll go to the other side. And get three down this staircase as well. And once I've got these, there's also a five bundle on top of the first warp here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we'll take the warp. And up here, we're going to have another great target. So we'll go ahead and shoot that one. And inside here is the reason we're going to want to have lots of ammo. Now, inside there is 30 extra shots. And you might not need that many. But you'll see why we need at least like a couple dozen. Go ahead and knock these guys out, and for some reason knocking them out, we'll make these vines appear. So now we can jump across and get those bananas, as well as on the other side, we've got some coins here. I'm gonna start on this side, let's go ahead and grab that crud. Swing around, and we can press, remember, we can press the R button to switch around on the, on the vine. So I'm just jumping across, grabbing it, pressing R, and then jumping on back. There we go. So now we're going to go and hit this lanky switch, and this is why we need a bunch of ammo. Once we hit this, there's going to be a whole bunch of targets on the wall, and what we have to do is basically play a memory game. What we have to do is shoot these guys and listen closely. That one made like a little duck quacking kind of sound, and now if we shoot this one, that one makes a honk sound. So it's basically a memory game where we have to match the sound effects. Now you're always going to have to match within the color, so, for example, this yellow one here. That one had the quack sound, and we already know this one has a quack sound. So we get those two, and they match. And now, because we know that the yellow ones will always match yellow ones, that means the other ones are good to go. So now let's listen closely here. 
Got a little bit of a whistle sound, so let's go hit this one and see what we got. And that one is a, like, balloon farting kind of sound, so what do we have here? Okay, that's the whistle, so we'll match it with that. And then we'll match the other one with this one. And now let's do the green ones. I think... Okay, we got a gong there. I think the green one just matches here. These are not random as far as I know, so if you actually just memorize the position of all of them, you should be able to get them first try. But as long as you know you can match the colors, it's pretty much fine. Got a tugboat sound. Tugboat sound again. And then we shoot these two. Get those big burps and we're done. The only problem is if you take too long, then you're going to have to deal with these critters coming back. But looks like I got there just in the nick of time there. So let's get out, grab our golden banana, and let's work our way back out of here. I want to go back and take warp one again. We're not done with the temple yet, but I'm done with this room. Might as well stock up on some ammo that I used. Go to the other side as well. And let's get those critters. Let's go, Lanky. Looking pretty good. So let's go out and let's take warp number one. And now I want to take warp number two. This will take us to a place where we had to go as Tiny Kong before. But that is where we're going to get the blueprint for Lanky Kong. So let's go take it. And right through here, I'm going to just do a dash attack into a jab combo. So we'll dash attack and then we'll just not dash attack again. Oh. Well, that kind of worked. Okay, so we got the actual blue blueprint for a change. Let's go back through here. And now let's go to this side room. Right over this way. We're going to have a trombone pad, so we can play our trombone here to do some cool crud. Wow, got the guy first try. And there's some more ha ammo here, I guess, if you needed it, but we're doing fine. Let's go ahead and play our trombone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, are the snakes gonna kiss? I think the snakes are gonna kiss, guys. Oh no. And demonetized. Darn it, man. Oh well. Let's go ahead and climb up these snakes. They're very steep, though. So you have to get the orang stand before going here. Otherwise, you're gonna be sliding right off. So let's go ahead and do a orang stand. And up we go. Here we've got a little barrel. Let's hop inside and get to a bonus game. Welcome to bonus stage. Teetering turtle trouble. Keep the turtle spinning by feeding the snakes melons. Press A to fire a melon. And to reload, we have to shoot the spot in the center. So if we try to shoot without that, it'll say reload. So we just shoot the spot in the middle. So you can kind of focus on the ones that say help. Those are the ones that are going to be most dire. Or you can just kind of shoot all of them if you feel like. But yeah, focusing on the ones that say help is usually the best bet. So we just want to keep them all alive, keep them all spinning. And eventually the timer will run out and we'll be good to go. Just gotta make sure you are always restocking as often as possible. You don't want to be running out of ammo at a crucial moment. Yeah, you honestly don't have to be spamming like I am. You can just wait until they say help and they'll never actually have problems. You can just shoot them when they say help and uh, yeah, everything's going to be just fine. Nope. There we go. Just like that, we are done. So for surviving that minigame, of course, we'll get ourselves another golden banana. So we're up to three out of five. And the last thing I want to do inside this temple before we uh, before we leave is go right on down here, because this is where we unlock Linky Kong. And this is where those two balloons are going to be. So let's hop on out. Get up there, you crud. I almost had to do a ring stand up a little slope. Not that I can orang stand in the water, but you know. So let's go ahead and shoot that one. I completely missed. Let's just hang out in the middle. Come on. Got that one. And then, oh, oh. got that one as well. All right, so with those done, let's get back out of this temple. Once again, I'm not gonna bother editing out because we're like right next to the exit, so we'll just walk on out, dude. That was kind of weird. I did my jump attack and it kind of pushed me to the right. But let's go ahead and do a little bit of long jump action and out we go. And we're honestly almost done. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to do here as Lanky Kong. So let's go ahead and climb these trees. There's going to be a few trees nearby that have five bundles on top. Let's so grab that guy. Then we'll go over to this one. And we'll grab that guy. 
And then right across here is the final one. We also just got the banana medal, so we're doing great on those. We're up to eight. Gotta get 15. So once we finish off, once we get the new Kong, the final Kong, we get those last two banana medals from Jungle James and Angry Aztec. And then we also get all of the five banana medals from the third level. Then we'll have all 15 that we need. So that will be pretty awesome. So now I want to go inside Lanky Kong's door for this temple, but I want to sneak around the backside first because there are some goodies to collect back here. So right over here, we're going to have some blue coins just kind of hiding in these nooks. As well as a sound recharge if I actually needed that, which I don't. We'll drop down. There's nothing down here. Oh, actually there is. There's one blue coin here. There we go. Pretty sure that's everything. Let me just double check just in case. I just took a peek at my notes and it says there's three blue coins back here, so I think we're good. Yeah, I actually, uh, when I'm routing this stuff out, I write it down in a Google Doc and I have it open on the side, just in case, so I, just in case I kind of get lost in the middle of an episode, but usually I can get through without having to check my notes, but in a case like that, just want to double check there. So anyways, let's go ahead and shoot this target. Open up that door, and let's get inside. So this is going to be pretty much the same as all of these ones we've been to before. Just got to shoot these targets, open up a path. This one, as a couple have been, is not actually a fork. It's just a uh, path that kind of loops around. So whichever way you go, it's going to go to the same place. Doesn't really mi uh, matter which one you go to. Up here, we're going to have a clump as well as a blue balloon somewhere. Uh, no? Maybe that's at the next fork? No, I'm pretty sure it's right here. I just don't see it. There it is. There you are, you little crud. Get back here, buddy. Yeah, this is a very fast one, so you kind of have to lead your shot a lot. Or just shoot it like this. Okay, that kind of worked. I'll take it, man. Now, up here, we're going to have a actually a bit of a weird fork. So, this one is a proper fork, but instead of going left and then going forward, it actually goes back around on itself right here. And this side is kind of pointless. There's just some oranges and some uh, crystal coconuts, so you can get those if you want. Or if you just feel like killing a clump for some reason. But the way we actually want to go is over here. And another thing that's kind of unique about Linky Kong's uh, game here, there's no golden banana right here. There's actually a golden banana barrel, so we have to go play a game. And boy, what a game it is. Welcome to bonus day. Big Bug Bash. We have to swat some flies. Got to get four of them in the time limit. And, well, we just hit A. These flies are very annoying, so we'll see how I do. Yeah, they love to laugh at you, and they love to swoop around like crazy, bro. But we got that one done. Wow, I got that one quick. Dude, I'm on a roll, bro. Okay, I made that look so much less awkward than it actually is. I usually take, like, 45 seconds to get that crud. Well, let's go ahead and get this, and let's get yelled at by the guy with the crosshair. Go on. Get out. Okay, I'll leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore Clump here. I could kill Clump on my way out, but you know what? We'll be nice. We'll let Clump survive for a change. We'll just walk around the side. And let's just hop on out. Plenty of time to spare. No, I didn't quite make it with 15 left. We only had 14 left, but that's fine. Alright, so we've got those 10 last blue bananas to get. Let's drop down here. Got those 10 last blue bananas to get, as well as turning in the blueprint. So we'll get to that as well. So the last 10 blue bananas... Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also uh, some blue coins in front of Funky right here. So we'll go grab those. I don't really need to restock ammo because we're nearly at the end of the episode, so not too worried about that. But I do need to jump across here towards Snide. The last 10 bananas are again on treetops, but they're on treetops over this way. So this one right here, for example, is going to have some. And then there will be another tree over by the tall tower. And that'll have five as well. And I'm going to try to take a little bit of a shortcut by long jumping here. And then long jumping here. And that'll get us right next to the tree. Of course, you can just jump in the sand and take damage. And it's not that big of a deal. But I'd like to avoid damage whenever I can. And there it is, guys. 100 blue, disgusting, rotten, gross, awful bananas. We got them, dude. And let's go turn in this final blueprint as well. And I gotta correct another goof I made in the last episode, guys. I thought when you guys were telling me that you could turn in multiple blueprints at once, what you were saying was I could, for example, get Tiny and Lanky, but you guys corrected me and said that, no, you can turn in multiple of the same Kong at once. So, for example, I could have gotten Lankies from Angry Aztec and Jungle Japes and turned those in at the same time, but honestly, I feel like that's not that useful unless you're speedrunning, so I'm just going to turn them in as I go. 
But if you really don't like these animations for some reason, I guess you could play all the levels and get all the blueprints before turning them in. I personally would rather just turn them in, get the, get the bananas, and get to see our blueprint status right here. Looking good. Let's go ahead and exit back out. And you know what, guys? Let's take a look at our totals here. So if we go on over, we now have everything done for Lanky Kong. And if we go over here, everything done for Angry Aztec, except for the Chunky Kong stuff, the five golden bananas, the 100 green, and the uh, banana metal there. So we're doing really good, guys. And by the way, if we go down to, uh, let's see if I can find it, DK Isles, you can actually see there are two crowns and three banana fairies there as well that we still have to get. So eventually we will get those, but anyways, guys, for, for now, we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time and we will finally go and unlock the third stage. I'll see you all then. Take care.